everybody, it's Bunny, and today we are finally reviving my Pinterest series where I take ideas and crafty things from Pinterest and try them in a real life application setting. So today we are going to be using a Pinterest idea to fix something, and I literally just dropped it again. If you guys remember, I talked about this palette a couple weeks ago, maybe, which is my Urban Decay electric palette and I was actually carrying it around upstairs to show you guys to talk about one of the shadows in this palette and I dropped it and I had a very unfortunate accident with my favorite shadow in the palette. Isn't that always how things go? Like if something's gonna break, it's gonna be your favorite thing that gets broken. My favorite shallot shallot? My favorite shadow in this palette is Slow Burn, which is this really sparkly orange shade. So today we're going to try and fix it. And I found a lot of different posts that all said basically the same things and walked me through the same steps. So for this, I supposedly will need alcohol. And this is just regular rubbing alcohol that I've loaded in a little travel spray bottle. Everywhere I read pretty much said to either drop alcohol drops on it, like through a little dropper or to spray. I'm gonna go with the spray method. You're also going to need a coin that is the size of the eyeshadow. And through careful scientific research, I discovered I needed a quarter for this particular eyeshadow. You also need a little piece of fabric to wrap the quarter in so that you're not just putting dirty, filthy money in your eyeshadows. Lastly, you need something to break the shadow up with. And I saw a lot of people recommending a pencil. That seems kind of disgusting to me because I don't want to put like pencil lead into my eyeshadow either. So I'm going to go with a bobby pin. You're supposed to basically break the shadow up into a powder and I think I will be able to kind of mash it up more finely with a bobby pin than I would be able to with a pencil anyway. So let's see if I can get a different camera angle or my camera to focus on my face at all. It's trying to focus on the door, which is kind of creepy right now because it's like facially identifying like there's a face back there. It's literally only locking on to that face. What's going on here? Hi, okay. All right, time to pull my hair up though because this is like serious business. Oh, that's just so helpful. Isn't this an extremely entertaining camera angle? Look, you can see me right there in the mirror. <laughs> so the very first thing I'm gonna do, disturbingly enough, is crush this poor eyeshadow into a fine powder. Now that I have it all crushed up and I was kind of going for a powder eyeshadow consistency, now I'm gonna move on to the alcohol spraying step. Doesn't that sound like fun? Sounds like I'm some kind of weird skunk kind of creature. So it's saying that there should be enough alcohol on it that the eyeshadow is wet, but not so much that it's like completely soaking wet or like, wow, this spray bottle is all over the place, isn't it? So it's supposed to be wet, but not like soaking wet. And we're just gonna go with that. I hope that that's wet enough. So now I'm just taking a quarter and I'm gonna wrap it in that little piece of fabric. And then you're just supposed to press down onto the shadow. Maybe I should switch to a nickel because a quarter is looking like it's maybe too big now. Oh yeah, a nickel looks like it's gonna work better. And I'm trying to just press kind of as hard as I possibly can. That looks a little bit better, but still not too great. All right, so while it's drying, I'm gonna try and clean up all these broken fragments around it because it's pretty messy right now. It's been honestly right about five minutes and I'm an impatient person. So I already stuck my finger in it and kind of swatched and tested. And I'm gonna have to say I'm both extremely impressed and then like not impressed at the same time. Once again, it's my skills. The eyeshadow is clearly back into its little original packaging and it's no longer crumbling or breaking. I will just say that it looks incredibly Frankenstein-ish though. Like, let me just show you the picture, okay? So I can show you like an expectations versus reality kind of thing. This is the picture that I saw where the eyeshadow is all 
extremely crumbled. Just look at that right there. Totally busted. And uh, then it ended up looking like that. Can you guys even see? Is it even focusing? Look at that right there. You see that perfect eyeshadow? It literally looks no different than the rest of them. And mine looks once again, like Frankenstein's monster, you can tell that it was busted. It's all like crinkly and gross and not perfectly formed. As with all other things in life, looks are not the most important thing. And I'm gonna have to say I'm pretty impressed with how the actual makeup looks because this was a very sparkly shade and I'm rubbing it and I'm swatching it and it looks like it originally did. It looks equally as vibrant and equally as shiny and I can only imagine as it continues to dry it's probably going to improve even more. It's not like wet or anything but it still feels a little bit moist. I'm gonna get belligerent with it now and it doesn't seem to be crumbling or breaking or falling out. So I'm gonna have to say uh, this is probably one of the most successful pinter tests I've ever done. So excited! I feel like I've accomplished something today. I've walked away with more knowledge. As always, please keep posting these fabulous Pinterest Pinter test ideas onto my Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash graveyard girl. If you see something crafty or something beauty related or anything in the world food related, just leave it on my page and I will check it out. And I'm sorry we kind of had a long pause from these. I feel like I lost the entire month of October because I went on vacation but now I'm back so we can start doing things again now that it's like almost middle of November. I have eyeshadow all over myself now. Ooh, look, I can like give myself like a brave new look. Orange contouring. So lovely. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for being here, for watching, for spending some time with me. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.